we will call this uh, Bento Grid e-commerce layout. Before we start, I offer e-commerce development services and developer coaching services. Check the uh, link in the description below. You can find this code below as well. First, if you don't have Next.js setup, watch first part of this uh, video where it says product page. So just watch it, get the setup. Or Google Next.js getting started and follow this installation guide. And you can also Google uh, Shard.cn getting started and follow this installation guide. Link for this video is in the description below. Then Google Asternity UI Bento Grid and you're gonna click this one. So first, uh, you're, we're going to use these components. So you're gonna copy and paste this into your command prompt and install all of this. Then you will copy this code and create this util slash cn.ts file. Let me close this. Uh, so here I created it in libutils.ts. So you can make whatever you want. You will just have to import it from here if you do uh, a different uh, file name like this. Then if you scroll below, we're gonna create components, UI Bento Grid TSX. So let me copy this. And if I go to components, if you don't have this folder, just create it. So components, UI and Bento Grid TSX. Now, uh, you will not have this button, card, select everything. So if uh, if you didn't install this with Shard.cn, which you didn't, so don't worry if you don't have it. And then let's expand this code if you want, but let's copy all of this and paste it. Now we will go to the top and delete this import because for me, this import is uh, different. So for me, it's at slash utils, or actually I can just go here and press like this. So I pressed the control space and imported it like this. So this is the Bento grid component. Now let's go here to page TSX. We will delete absolutely everything from page TSX and we will start coding. So import CN from wherever you have it and then import React. Also, you can uh, go here to the Bento grid and check out the code examples. So you can click here code and check out these examples if you want, but we will actually code it here from scratch. Uh, then we will say import bento grid bento grid item from your bento grid and then uh, you can copy this from uh, this website i'm not sure where but if we go here and we go here code you can copy it from here i think and then or you can copy this from my github so you don't need to write it manually and then we will create constant uh, items which is an array and make an object so the first title of your item of your product description uh, i'm gonna set the description to be the price here in this case and then icon so these are the icons that i copied that i imported here uh, and then url is product one jpeg so you will need to go to my github page and download all of these like product images so this is the first product image this dress the second one this watch so put all of them into public from my github so in the github there is public folder and then just copy or download it, these images. And then uh, let's just add a bunch of other items. I have seven items here. Then below, let's go and create export default function Bento Grid demo, for example, and make a return statement. And then Bento Grid with class names. Map all of the items. So we have item and index of this item. Bento grid item, uh, key is index, title is tit uh, item title, description is item description. This is what you need to pass if you take a look at here where you defined all of this in the Bento grid TSX. And then header, this will be the image. So we need to pass in React node. So as you can see here, uh, we can pass React node or string as description, React node or string as title. So we can pass these React nodes. So let's create another div. So this is the React node that we will create. And then image source will be item.url. So this is, we will pass this as header. And then icon is item icon. And class name, if index is three or index is six, then we will make it very long. This pentagrid will be long. Let me save and show. So this is what we made. So if index, index is three, it will be long. And if index is six, it will be long. So 
uh, it will have call span 2 and that's it this is it uh, thank you for watching check out my e-commerce building and developer coaching services below goodbye